da, da, and Game of Thrones. I love Walking Dead. I kept up to date. I have never seen Game of Thrones, but I don't really have access to HBO. I figure at this point I might as well just wait until it's done because I know next season is the last. So I hear the neck. The next season's out in two years. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's so painful. It's quite possibly. I oh, see. I'm not now. I'm not gonna hype it. I'm not gonna hype it because I, I can ruin it. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I've actually spoiled. I've actually spoiled myself because I was like, I might as well. So I've actually seen people react on YouTube. Oh, okay. So, so, I, so I know what happens, sort of. I mean, yeah. so I don't get the whole story of everything, but I know with the dragon. I still and think. And stuff. I still think those points will still be impactful because when it like things are like coming together and like you think things are happening this way, they're like people making amends, da da da, and suddenly you're like shit like now who <laughs> controls this area it's all gone haywire it's like it's complete chaos like there's no main character there's like everyone's own their own campaign gets like diverted or like doesn't go way the way they're planned so it's not like a general like story where it's like it's heading in this direction right right I mean, there is an inevitability that you know is going to happen, but it doesn't really like, like really come to like to like this latest season. You kind of just noticed that all the, the people living in the in the country kind of just have only just becoming a threat to it. Right. Though. That's that's not a threat. That's not a spoilery. <laughs> but it's like. Yeah. They just they dabble in this like in these white walkers like they they, yep. they tell you a little bit at the beginning and then they like drip feed you a little by like, little like oh yeah these things still exist by the way yeah. and they like appear once in an episode like a random episode. Well, I guess one thing that's interesting is I know the actual book, whenever it comes out, will be completely different because George R. R. Yeah. Martin is like, yeah, there's like 20 characters that are still alive in my story that are dead on the TV show. So That's you... kind of bothered me. That has bothered me a bit because the reason why it's so successful is because of George R. R. Martin. Right. Like, the way, like, it's just his mind creates such an amazing world. Like so in depth, so like convoluted, like it's all weaved together in such a yeah. masterpiece. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I guess should... I mean he's okay with it. He's just saying like, look, whatever you're seeing on screen, it's kind of just thinking of it as an alternate time. Like, like at yeah. some point, our things diverged two paths, and this path is the TV show, and that's one alternate timeline this is the canonic i don't know how people are going to view it like is this the canonical version with his thing people or is the show that because tv I, universe book universe that's yeah well it's like walking dead you know like that show is yeah it's not completely different but there are different definitely i mean there are characters that are alive now that are dead in the show or they lasted longer or there's like like those uh, trash people or whatever, the ones living in the trash heap or whatever. Oh, the one with the uh, the woman who leader betrayed Rick. Yeah, yeah. The, those characters aren't oh. in the comics at all. Like they just made that up for the show to make some sort of thing. And I know I'm this, okay with that. Yeah, I'm fine with it because I, I don't read the comics anyway. But even I'm like, well, this is gonna be. It's an adaption. Like it's yeah. like Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Like it's not gonna be perfect, even though I have some qualms with those things. But every single adaption is not gonna be perfect. I think they tried that with Psycho. The, mo the old movie Psycho, they made, remade it like shot for shot, but in color, and because they, they thought that'd be a cool idea. But then nobody really liked it because it's like it's just the same movie. Like I'm, I mean, I guess, but people like some differences. It's like I've already seen this. Do something a little different than what I've seen. But and so that when you watch a movie and you enjoy it, you associate your enjoyment with the with what the texture of the movie is. So if they change it in any way. The texture feels different, so you're not going to get that same sort of uh, enjoyment. At least I think so, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely different, but it, it's kind of hard when you're a fan of something 
and you yeah. see a movie or some or TV show, and it's like, well, that's not how I pictured it. Or why did they do that to this character? Like I can like in The Hobbit, but Bjorn, like he's completely different than he's in the book. The shapeshifter that turns into the bear. Uh, oh yeah. Like in the book, he's basically like Hagrid from Harry Potter, but just very muscular. Like he was Hagrid was like like because he's tall. He's supposed to be like eight nine feet tall, and he's supposed to have like a a black beard and shaggy hair. And he's basically, as I said, he's basically Hagrid a bit. But he's but in the movie, he looks kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. And it was kind of like a weird way to go about it. Was and they, weird. And they also kind of underused him. I thought it was like oh well, it's kind of like Tom Bombadil. Like I'm kind of. Ugh. like it's kind of torn like it's almost like maybe it would have been better if they just left him out entirely than do him badly and i think they should have just left him out if they were gonna do that kind of stuff i mean the extended edition kind of re- redeemed it a bit they have a, a scene from the book and i'm like okay well that's in so that's kind of nice but still from the, it, it's just one of those things where it's like well you still have the book but you can still go back and read the book it doesn't make the book irrelevant now it's just you just kind of have to live with it so you know or smaug chasing them all over the mountain which was not in the book at all um but i guess they needed some sort of action scene at the end otherwise it'd be like oh there he is and now there he goes and that's it next movie so but i can go on about the hobbit films and why why, i mean i have another british friend who who likes them we want to do a podcast about that kind of stuff which you'd be welcome to join oh i like usually i watch a film and i like if I enjoy it, I enjoy it. If I don't, like, if it's just like a, I don't know, with The Hobbit, I watched it, I enjoyed the first one. I didn't think it was, like, amazing, but I enjoyed it. Second one, I thought it was okay. Third one, I just, I just didn't know what was going on. I didn't, like, I just, I was lost. Yeah, I mean... I was okay with it, but I do think there's a lot, like with Lord of the Rings, some of the, the changes they made, I'm pretty okay with as a book. I'm not a purist, but The Hobbit, I was sort of a little more torn because there's a lot of stuff in there where it's like, I think they should have just kept it at two films, and I think they should have just kept the focus because adding Targo, the elf, and all that stuff, I think that was, I mean, they even admitted we wanted to do that because we wanted a romance story. It's like, the Papa doesn't need a romance, though. It's okay the way it is. It does. You don't need to shove romance in there. And it doesn't make sense because she know, like in the movie, she meets Keeley, the the dwarf, and knows has one conversation with her, and they over the course of two days or whatever, they're supposed to be in love. Like, I don't know. I don't know if the writers know, but that's not how it works. I can understand if he has a crush on her, but he's basically. But they're both like, oh. We love each other. We have this connection. We talked once. <laughs> I don't for maybe five minutes, and you don't like each other. Like I don't. It would have been better if they did a Legolas thing where she's like, you know what, you're okay, and then just wasn't no, wasn't the love aspect. If they just kept it there, maybe. But still, I think she just didn't need to be added. Legolas was fine because I kind of understand why he'd be there because his father. It makes it would be. I mean, I think Tolkien would have probably added him back. Because Legolas didn't exist in his mind, he, went, he was like, oh, I have this whole extended universe. You might cut out. Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, because okay hello. now? Yeah, yeah, All right. I don't know where I was. <laughs> um, You think Tolkien would have been okay with it, adding oh. back Legolas? Yeah, yeah, because he was actually rewriting the... Um, the the hobbit at one point and he got like okay because he because he wrote lord of the rings he didn't expect the hobbit to be part of this big universe and then when he realized well it is part of the universe maybe if i go back and rewrite things and add stuff back in there kind of like references other things to make it part of the bigger world but he stopped three 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 chapters in then he said well uh this just isn't the hobbit anymore like i'm making it too big and more than it needs to be because that's why there's no reference to like the i don't think the shire is referenced anywhere there's nothing else and he kind of thought well he, i think he would have probably added legolas in again after that but we'll never know but that makes sense so. what the fuck are you nerds talking about right now <laughs> you know nerdy things oh no, yeah, we were talking about Game of Thrones, and then which I don't watch. They talk about Walking Dead, which I and then we talked. It, yeah, I really like the latest season of Walking Dead. 
she hasn't seen it. She's only to like season four, so I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, that's, oh, uh, that's why I was kind of skipping the topic because I didn't. I didn't know. Okay, Ma- I was Mary, wondering because like... Mary, that's why I didn't want to. I didn't want you to come back and go. Oh, this happens. This character dies. And you're like, great, thanks, Mary. <laughs> have you got to the bit where there's where where it introduces Abraham? No. Okay. No. Just it. It might be a bit of a bore <laughs> in that season, but. It, uh... I mean, like, the furthest that I got that I can remember clearly was Rick and the Mayor sitting down and talking. Rick and the Mayor. Okay, this little town thing. Mm, uh, kind of. Not really. I remember it being, like, I don't know. I can't remember. Like, they both both met up to have a conversation. Yeah. I don't know. It's been a really long time since I've watched it. I, 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 okay. I, th- I think I remember him wanting to, to, yeah, to sit down with Rick, and Rick's kind of like, I don't buy your bullshit. Like, right. I can tell. I can tell. And he's you're... like, have a drink, and Rick's like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Dick. Yeah. The, the season that Rory's on about uh, with the Abraham stuff. That's kind of where I tuned out for a little bit too, but when I came it was... back, it, it's just I think it's worse when you have to wait a week because you're like, Ugh. But yeah. Then, I think when you watch it right through, then it's not as bad, and it does pick up. And Rick gets awesome. Like there's some stuff that happens later. I'm like, holy shit! Like this is a different Rick than I'm used to. Like, but it's really good stuff, and it definitely gets better. And I said, Mary, there's a character that reminds me a bit of Handsome Jack from Borderlands, and that's all I'll say on that. But I, the moment I saw him, I was like, Mary would love this character. So, dark humor, just an oh, asshole. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to say any names. I don't want to do anything more than that, just that they're existing. Oh, yeah, I don't want to even, like, I was about to say something that was, like, kind of... Yeah. It's not a spoiler, but it adds to the scene. I don't yeah, wanna... just yeah, don't. I don't <laughs> but I, but he is very handsome, Jackish. The dark, the totally dark humor, and just the, just complete villain that you were like, I hate him, but I love him too. And it's the yeah best like, villain this on guy Walking is such Dead. Such a badass, but yeah, he needs to go down. But he's a badass. I don't want him gone. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it, it's definitely. I originally thought the governor, like, okay, he's my favorite one, and then this person comes along, and I'm like, never mind. <laughs> this guy I takes like it. I, I liked him yeah. as a villain. I thought, considering most of the others were kind of eh. Shane was good too, because that was you know. Yeah. Because he's a friend turning on friend kind of thing, so that's always good. But uh. Yeah, I'll just we'll just let you watch eventually, <laughs> Mary. When you get four four seasons into it, she's going silent. <laughs> you don't say. We've got it. I do it. say. All right, so uh, we doing more golf with your rear ends. I do not <laughs> want to play that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's putting me the fuck to sleep. I need. To do something exciting. So, what do you want to do? Uh, uh, we can do that. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I don't know, Rory. I don't know what Let's play see. golf with your pens. <laughs> I don't have one of those. I, I have pens. I have balls. <laughs> I guess we can try. Let's do it. Um,. I don't know what other games do you have, Rory. That I have so have. many fucking games. But what does Rory have? I don't think he has. Go with games. your tendons. <laughs> that sounds oh. really painful. I will creep on your games now. I'm going to compare games with Rory. Oh, Go yes. with your amends. Payday two, Portal two, Left for Dead two, uh, Golf with your friends, uh, Speed Runners. Oh, Left that's dead. So Never played it. Uh, Fear it. three. It's only two player. That's it. So I'm like ninety nine percent sure that Ozo is about to gift me Overwatch. So I'm just throwing that out there. Oh my god. Well, wait, Rory, do you play on PC Overwatch or PS four Overwatch? PS four and Xbox. <laughs> Oh, well. Well, then, get Belt? ready. 
Well, I well I've got it. Tom Cat's got it. Ozo's got it. So you got at least a team of four a week and now. If you if that happens, you know we play. I've got the- yeah. I've Destiny takes up a lot of my time. Yeah. Like can- if this was a Tuesday. I, it would be it would have been hard to accept the hit, but <laughs> like yeah. hard to choose. Like Destiny, you guys, Destiny, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys would win. I mean, I don't think it would run, and I wouldn't have many friends that would have it. I mean, I got Overwatch because I played Paladins, because <laughs> I tried that because I know that was like an Overwatch clone. Oh, and I played that. I was much. like, wow, this is really fun. <laughs> I played that. I was like, wow, this is fun and. Ozo, our friend, said, oh yeah, that's basically Overwatch, just free, and I was like, really? So I looked up Overwatch videos, and I was like, <laughs> holy crap, this is like the same interface, and everything looks the same, except the characters and some of the levels. But yeah, that's why I got Overwatch, because I was like, oh, because it's pretty expensive. I mean, well, not, I mean, it's an average price for a game, but I didn't know so if Paladins I Paladins was... is the best like, advertisement for Overwatch. <laughs> it really is. It got, if I was to say that would be what I'd say for Paladins. Like it got me to buy Overwatch, whereas and I didn't get the hype before. Like I would understand, Mary, if you were kind of like, I don't get it. Why is this? <laughs> Why is this thing so much a big deal? And I then I played Paladins, which is basically free Overwatch on Steam, and I was like, oh wow, this is really fun. Is this Overwatch? Then I was like, I'd rather well just get Overwatch because they got like twenty million, thirty million players. So obviously that's the one to go for. Why do I? Oh, have you played my oh, last two player? Mount your friends. I Is it two players? Yes. I haven't played yes, that. Yes, I played it. And I don't have it's it. It's fucked up. There are a lot of dicks. <laughs> dicks? <laughs> All that game is is swinging cocks. <laughs> What's that other one that's basically dicks? Um... Outlast? Is no. A game about dicks? No, that's. Outlast? No. Yep. I... No, well, How's it, that about dicks? Well, it does because have Because the there's a part where it's just like a bunch of cocks. Well, when? that's not qu- that's not quite true, but I know what you're referencing. It's these two guys, did... these these two characters that are naked in their guys, and they have these big schlongs that are basically out there for all to see. They call Swinging this... in the breeze. Some people call, <laughs> the, some people call the, the dick twins or whatever. They have names. The Dunga Brothers. <laughs> Did you say the Bell the Bell End Brothers? No, the Dungle. Oh. The Dungle. The Dungle. <laughs> all right. So basically, all we have to play that we could play together, I guess, is Left for Dead one or two. I don't see anything else that's not just Loof, Loof for Doof. I mean, that's the only three-player plus game that I can see that we got. You don't have Borderlands two. Sad face. I played that to death, but like, I still haven't played all the DLC on it, but I think my save is fucked because I, I know I didn't complete the pirate DLC, but the uh, the bosses, there was like a, um, a quest to defeat the invincible bosses, whatever they're called. Uh, on the pirate DLC, and I didn't. I, I'm sure there was a quest for it. I don't know. It was such a so long time ago. Invisible boss. Me invincible. invincible. Oh yeah, those guys. Yeah, I tried. Was, was there I, a quest for that? There's yeah, there's a quest for that. I got to like the second one and with some people, and we never could beat it, and we just gave up. It was so hard. I don't even know how you're supposed to do it. So, there was like a like when you killed some of the ads or something. There was like a. You have to go into this pool of poison. When you're poisoned, you can damage the. Yeah, that's that's the guy. Like that. That's the same guy. Maybe it was us. Maybe we did that or something. I don't know. But I don't remember beating him. We didn't beat. I didn't beat him. Like we tried like twenty times. We tried strategies. We tried different weapons. Nothing worked. We never beat him. And I to this day I still don't know how. Like it was just except cheating or something. Because we tried so hard we were like over leveled and we still couldn't get it he was just so yeah over leveled with like people who dropped their like modded weapons and shit it's still gonna be him yeah i don't even the first guy was or whatever this one guy was like i don't know he was in this like arena area and he had like these shields and he had to defeat like yeah and i remember doing that that reminds you so much of the destiny there's so many deaths like elements that destiny might have taken from that game i don't yeah, know from what i've seen it's very borderlands ish but kind of borderlands mixed with halo mixed with some other stuff but just makes sense because they made halo 
But, yeah. But they definitely took some stuff from Borderlands, which isn't bad, I guess. They're not oh, technically yeah, stealing, it works, but... But yeah, Borderlands, those bosses were just kind of like... Yeah, I think they made them a bit too powerful. And I never tried with some of like the... The, the tiny Tino one where you get to the end and then there's like the raid boss of the dragons. Oh, the dragons! I beat them once. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I never tried. Cause I'm I... pretty sure I beat them once, or got close to it. Like, I remember some guy, that, he doesn't come online anymore, I don't know where he's gone, I don't know if he died. <laughs> Literally, he just doesn't, he hasn't been on right. since, since I got an Xbox One, pretty much. <sighs> he was like a proper die-hard achievement hunter. Ah. So... That sucks. To just like go offline and just don't like never cut. I, I really don't know what's happened to it. No, oh, well, I mean, it happens. People just go. Maybe we just got fed up with Xbox and be like, <laughs> PS4. Laters. Or PC. <laughs> a lot of people. Yeah, maybe. PC. Well, he had a PC, but I think he just preferred gaming on console. Uh. I'd get a PS4 if you asked me to choose between the two. They're just more exclusives that I'd want to play that are not... Xbox doesn't have anything that's that would draw me to it if I... I'm just kind of just used to the ecosystem of Xbox. Mm. That makes sense. Like... Right, right. But I was used to Xbox. I went to PC and it took me a while and I'm like, this is a lot better than... In console, like for Left 4 Dead, like all the mods you can have, or like Binky's playing through Skyrim and she's got a lot of mods and stuff, and it's just like you can't. Well, now you can sort of on consoles because they added that for Fallout. Oh, the Creators Club. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's stupid stuff. But it's just kind of like, you know, on console, like Left 4 Dead, you can't mod, and all you get is the basic campaigns. But here it's like, oh, here's a hundred custom campaigns for you, and you can all be Velociraptors, and the tank music can be never gonna give you up or whatever you want <laughs> and it's just kind of like that kind of stuff you just can't get on console and i mean the game's good or play on servers where there's 24 people which once you go that way you're like i don't want to go to the four person co-op it's just kind of boring so. <laughs> anyway uh binkies you haven't said anything in like a hundred years <laughs> i have over 1400 new emails so oh, holy i'm like shit. clicking and deleting making sure i'm not missing anything too important okay i'm back to july now i only have like a thousand left to go through well i guess we can keep talking or something <laughs> i don't mind talking well i don't so, either uh, yeah like I just didn't want you I didn't because I just didn't want you being like oh I'm not I'm just feel left out I'm like no oh. just want to make sure I just want to make sure you're okay there and it's like we're not just talking talking you're like well I wanted to play I'm like oh talking stalking yeah and I'm waiting for the email that he's sending me like I said I'm pretty sure he just bought me that so I'm waiting uh, for that to pop up oh he's coming to Tay okay interesting uh, did you ever see any game like like I know it was, you said I was showed you the characters, but have you play or seen any gameplay like when he was showing you trying to explain it or do you know like Overwatch stuff? He like played with all of the characters. He just like did like the preview or try it out of the characters or whatever you want to call it. Right. Okay, well, that's that's a start. I mean, there's a training thing that if you want to go through it, we'll just jump in cold. Yeah. I mean, I you can play against bots as well. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can play on... You're probably going to fuck around with that for a while. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't jump in... Uh, I wouldn't jump in right away to people because you got to learn kind of how, how it works, even though the bots are going to be a lot easier even on hard because they just... Right. They just storm through and I get like a 25 kill streak. People, they're gonna jump on stuff, they're gonna take different routes and stuff, but yeah. It's basically like, it's basically Team Fortress 2 Call of Duty, except better and more enjoyable. Right. And that's why people get addicted. <laughs> it's like the ne it's like the next evolution of Team Fortress. Yeah. I am aware. <laughs> yeah, and... I 
and it's very very addicting and the, the thing is the games typically only go for maybe five six minutes on average so you can play a lot of games just in an hour and you're like okay i'm accomplished and you get a loot box every time you level up so you're like yes i got something oh, are you fucking shitting on me no i'm not sorry it doesn't unlock like op weapons it's all no. cosmetic stuff yeah it's it, it's all it's all just appearance it doesn't Sprays, do anything. Yeah. Uh, skins oh. Yeah. It's not like, oh, Voice you got the holiday sh shotgun. Yeah. You're going to get this next Christmas. I mean, right. you do, they do that for skins and stuff. Like the, yeah, the, skins. The, yeah. Like the Halloween event is coming up, and it's like four-person versus bots and stuff. So they have Christmas events and stuff like that. But there's not, but yeah. none of the stuff in the loot boxes give you any strategic advantage over anybody else. And you don't have to buy them if you don't want to. It's just... And you level up pretty quickly, like... You can, and I think the the levels are infinite. Like I've seen people that are level like nine hundred yeah. something, and uh, but yeah, it's just kind of like oh, I got something cool. Maybe I got a new skin for a character. I knew got a new emo because your characters can dance or do whatever. Kind of like whatever, probably like G mod and stuff. Yes, the, the uh, season event where they introduced the dances. I'm. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to wait till the last day till I buy them, because I might unlock them. I totally forgot about it, and then I just <laughs> lost my chance to buy any dance emotes. Oh, right. Uh, I think you can buy... I think there's several you can buy. I mean, uh, I'm going to do that for the Halloween thing, because I have like 3,000 gold. You can... The other thing is you can earn gold, which you can buy stuff with, but that's... It's not... You yeah, don't... if you get a duplicate, they replace it with like 15 or 10 yeah. gold depending on how rare it is and you can get up to 500 gold like in a just a regular loot box i got to 500 gold like okay and you can buy yeah. like like voice emotes are like 25 and then like skins depending on the rarity can be a thousand or three thousand depending on it so i've got almost four thousand now i'm saving up for the halloween event because one of the characters the mercy one she's got a witch one that i really want you can only get it during the halloween event so i'm gonna do like you rory where i wait to the last event day i'm or next to last day i'm not gonna forget and if I, can't, <laughs> if I can't get it in a loot box then i'm gonna purchase that and we'll see like i might we'll see if there's a new what new skins they got i mean i would like one for a i don't know diva would be cool if she got a halloween one but i don't know if they're if not i'll just I, save up for the winter event i really like the lunar new year chinese one the oh, yeah. skins on that was so good. Maze one and Diva's one. Even Reinhardt's one, because it looks like he's got an axe instead of a hammer. Yeah. It's very, it's uh, very cool. Um, the Christmas ones, I like the Torbjorn one, because he looks like Santa. That's like perfect. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I wouldn't want to pay money for something, or even the in-game gold for a character I don't use that much. Like, Mercy is my number one. So... But Diva, if she had a really good skin come out for Halloween, I didn't get it. I might just go for it because I use her pretty. I can imagine Diva as like a huge pumpkin or something. Yeah, people <laughs> are suggesting that she's got it. Like she's in Heroes of the Storm too, which I don't even know what that is. It's another Blizzard game, but they put over oh, character, yeah. and she's got this really cool skin. It's like she's on fire, and her mech has like fiery wings, like a Balrog or something. And it's like put that in overwatch <laughs> give the good thing all the sweet skin. there's a certain skin you have to unlock by playing heroes of the storm really? i don't know what it is or like it's either a skin or a spray or some shit i don't know what it's who what character it's for either but it's like a you have to play so many games of hero of the storm uh, like with your battle uh net yeah account link yeah battle net it's it be yeah battle net or they just call it Blizzard app now. I think Battle.net is kind of... They don't really call it that. Oh, okay. <laughs> they just call it the Blizzard app because they kind of took over. But yeah. Oh, man. So yeah, well, the Bozo does get that for you just in time for the Halloween event, which is coming up on the 10th. So, And that'd be perfect amount of people. If then we can convince Rory to get on PC and we'll have five people. Huzzah! <laughs> Nudge, nudge, nudge. <laughs> it was on I sale, don't... I guess not anymore. But I don't know, man. I don't know, like how many, how long I'll be playing it <laughs> for PC. <laughs> and I'm, I'm expecting to buy the Switch soonish. Uh, yeah, 
that's a smart move. Get that Zelda and get that Mario on the go. Yeah, that Mario game is gonna be fucking weird. Like you can turn into anything, just throw your hat on it. Boom! Yeah. I'm you now. <laughs> it's gonna be real weird. I've always been a fan of those Mario games. Like they've never let me down. Yeah. Fucking sunshine's the best one. Oh, so good, so so good. I never got the 120 stars or however many it was, like the max. Yeah, I don't think I put the... Yeah, the sprites. I haven't gotten that. I really haven't played it in a while. I went hard back in the day. Didn't have... Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Spooky. Fucking, I still want to get a group of friends together and play Pokemon. I still want to get a group of friends. <laughs> yeah, bad news. <laughs> Fucking luck with that one, pal. <laughs> Wait, would you want to get a group of friends on, Mary? Ah. Uh, I can't. I, I still don't know what you said, Mary. It sounded like you said crackdown, but I know you didn't say crackdown. No, I did not say crackdown. What did you uh, say? Prop huh? There we go, I got Gary's it. Mod, prop on. Gary! Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh>, Gary! <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Mary. Gary Han. Prop mod. <laughs> Poor. <sighs> Have you played Dishonored? No. I have. No. Well, not the second one, but... Oh, the second one's good. first one's good. They're both amazing games. I think they're just as good as each other. Like... The I've second one has... I have, like, I don't know... A bajillion <laughs> games. It's like, you have a bajillion games and you're like, I have no games to play. <laughs> right. And I play like the same two games. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Skyrim and Terry. I... Have you seen that game Cuphead? Yeah. Cuphead. I've been playing it. It's really good. Is it really that difficult? Like everyone's saying, it's really hard. Um, it's pattern learning. Like. You know how like there's a group of people who say Dark Souls is so hard, and there's the other half they'd be like Dark Souls is piss easy. No. Oh okay. Well, <laughs> um, this... Sorry. Yeah, but Dark Dark Souls is this yeah, divisive. Yeah. Uh, okay. In okay. terms of it. Trial and error. Yeah, trial and error, pattern learning. But it's still like ridiculously fun, I think. It's got like really good like aesthetic. It's like 90s, 30s uh, style. Why can't I beat this fucking level? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you playing? Zuma's Revenge. Fuck! Zumba Boomba. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna play Left 4 Dead 2 while we talk. Left 4 Dead 2! I'm gonna be off in like an hour or so. Uh, and I still haven't even had dinner. Fuck yeah. Dinner? Still haven't had me mutton chops. 
mutton yesterday, mutton today, and blow me if it don't look like mutton tomorrow. What's that from? Hobbit. Okay, what's that? <laughs> I, I just wasn't it. sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's a horrible Cockney accent to it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I just... Have you seen the, the, um, the orcs in Shadow of War? Oh yeah, I've seen... They all got Cockney accents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to play replay Shadow of Mortar. That was fun. I need to play it again because the first time I played it, I was not having fun with it. Oh. But yeah, I didn't like it. But the same thing happened to Dishonored. When I played it on the 360, I played the first level. Like I played it for like an hour or so. Like it was taking me way too long to do what I wanted, and I just gave up and was like, "This game's bad." <laughs> oh really I was bad because I played it the second time I'm like why did I have such trouble with it yeah. and then I loved it I absolutely loved it I, from hating it to love it because it was on sale on Xbox One for less than five pounds I was like well I give it a second try if I still don't like it I've only wasted what four quid right yeah <laughs> so yeah. I up it. Then I bought the second one, and then I will be doing the Death of the Outsider, which is like a standalone DLC. Right, I heard about that. Which I heard is just as good as the first two. That's nice. I mean, they're, they're doing that a lot more these days. It's the standalone games. Yeah. Like, uh, the song. Wait. Uh, Uncharted just had their one. Oh yeah. It's like supposed to be like eight, nine hours, which is a pretty in my opinion a full game. Oh wow. Yeah. It's supposed to be supposed to be long and then <laughs> everyone's like, oh yeah, it's good. So I'm playing Uncharted, because I don't have PS4. Oh shit. <laughs> Uncharted isn't all it's cracked out well, to me it's not all it's cracked out to be. Like I played the Uncharted trilogy. I'm like Yeah. I don't know, I don't see the uh, hype, I don't see the, uh, I mean, the progression not... in game design or anything like that, it's just the same sort of game. <laughs> like the third one did get better, to, like say, but I still just felt it to be boring. The cutscenes, like I think the uh, choreography in the cutscenes I think is amazing, because usually that thing like, cutscenes usually bother me, like, if I see it's off, I can just do like, okay, it's off. I, I can put up with it. But then when I see that it's good, like, I take note of it, like, I appreciate it. And Uncharted does that really well. And that's something I don't really usually take note of in a game, but... <laughs> yeah, produc production values are very, very good on those games. I mean, it looks great. I mean, you can't deny that it looks really good. But I can understand like people saying, "Well, it's kind of more of the same." Uh, it's just, yeah, it's not. A, it's just a. I find it to be a boring game. Maybe. We played the Tomb Raiders, the new, the new ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like those. Like the gameplay, it's just. I don't know why. It's just. It feels different, even though it's like kind of like. The concept of the gameplay is the same, but Tomb Raider has a little bit more, I think. Has that sort of like little RPG sort of element where it's like open yeah. world? Yeah. It's like it feels like you've got freedom, even though it is linear. Yeah, but there's like little side quests you can do and get yeah. stuff for it, and you can level up your stuff as you said when you get a point. And... It, it's like it's absolutely linear, but it makes you feel it's not linear. It feels like you're going in like yourself. In the, if that makes sense, it feels like you're making this adventure. Yeah, well, that's why a lot of people like uh, role-playing games, because it's kind of like, here you are, do whatever you're going to do, it's okay. It's like Skyrim, like you can play the game infinite amount of times, the same quests and things, but you can make a completely different character and go a completely different route and whatever you want and experience something a little different. Like, even like after years after Skyrim came out, like I just like I discovered that vampire, you can be vampires and werewolves and shit. I'm like, what? 
Yeah. Like, what? What if? <laughs> Vampires had glowing eyes at the DLC at it. And they were like, oh, that sounds like a good idea, and they did that. Because that's what happened. Because oh, they had, like, yeah. that vampire DLC, Dawn Guard, I think. And before Dawn Guard, the vampires just looked normal, I think. But then they added Dawn Guard, and they had glowing eyes. So you can go, go oh, that's a vampire. Because they have glowing eyes. So. It's like when you, when you become a vampire, you have to do, like, certain things, like, every single day. Yeah. And you can be like a vampire lord and look like a demon and float around and stuff. You can be a werewolf too and have the werewolf got a skill tree and stuff like that, so. You'll see was good for that game. Most well some of it was. Oh god. Agreed. And they eat the poopoo. -poo. Uh, what? Spooky <laughs> scary skeleton. The hell? What is that tank? Where is my mind? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you ever watch Mr. Robot? I have not seen that. I don't think I'll get around to it in time, but. Okay. I know what it is, uh, sort of. Everyone says it's great, and I just never got to it. I'm afraid. Maybe one day. Have you seen those people who do, like, Speed, not speedruns, but like play a game on like a peripheral that's not meant to be played on. Uh, yeah, probably. I think I've seen one or two things like that. I don't really look it up, but I. There's a guy that has the record for completing Dark Souls. I think it is by using like a guitar for the most different types of peripherals. They use like dance mats. He used like Guitar Hero controllers and stuff like that. Uh, uh Guitar Hero drum set. Or oh, rock band jumps out. I don't know what That's one. Fucking red. Yeah. Hang on, I'll Google it and see what other ones he's done. Who is it? Uh, I can try and find a, a peripheral. Basically turned into a podcast at this point. <laughs> Shadow mine. He's used nine different peripherals. Oh shit, boner! <laughs> it sounds horrible. He's used the yeah, bongos from Donkey the Kong? gate. Yes. It's using like a the driving wheel of a game. I don't know what game. It could be any game, but yeah. uh, there's a keyboard one as well. Smart. Send me a link to his channel. Uh, I can give you the link to the. Uh, oh yeah, let me try to find his channel actually. Let's try. Channel. What's his name? <laughs> Reloading. Reloading. Oh my God! Please, please. I found his channel, but there's so many. Reloading. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, you could probably. There's only drum. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Bongo Souls. 
Yeah, <laughs> bunga <laughs> Bunghole souls. Bunghole souls. Straight out your bunghole. <laughs> sounds uh, like an interesting way to go. Watch out! Look out! Oh! Holy crap! <laughs> GB Bisley. Apparently he's done it with a microphone, I don't know how. He's done it with a Wiimote. So rock band, guitar and drum kit, rock band, piano, Donkey Konga, bongo drum, microphone, don't know how. There might be buttons on the microphone. Wiimote, dance mat, steering wheel and an X360 pan. That's the most impressive one. Uh, Xbox 360 pad. <laughs> That's the most impressive. Well, where's my mind? Whoops. I'm reloading. <laughs> My boss told me to have a good day, so I went home. <laughs> oh. Oh hi Mark. Hey, what's that from? The room. It's a bad movie. Oh, I've seen that clip though. I've seen the clip of it. Oh hi Mark. I, I did not. I didn't hit her. I did not. Oh hi Mark. They're making a, a parody of them. Uh, oh, what's it called? The the disaster artist. That's the one. They're they're not really. It's not really a parody. It's sort of just a based on. Supposed to be like a biography or something about what yeah. happened. I might see that just because it <laughs> looks like it's pretty good. But I want to see it, but I feel like I won't get most of it if I don't watch the room. And yeah. I don't know if I watch the room. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna watch it and do probably like a commentary like reaction <laughs> for YouTube because I'm if I'm gonna do it, I might as well do a theater mode thing. When I'll do that, but... Ah, uh... <laughs> oh, shit! Agreed. Do you watch any anime movies? Nope. Okay, never mind. Reloading. Afraid not. What? Any latest movies you've seen? Uh, any good? I haven't seen a lot of movies lately, honestly. <laughs> like, I just don't really go to the movies because... It's so expensive to go that it's kind of like I want to. It better be a, like I have to really want to see it to pay like twelve dollars just to see okay. it. I am probably gonna see Star Wars, the next one, The Last Jedi, because that's Star Wars, and I yeah. see that. That'll probably be the next one. I might go see Thor Ragnarok, but I don't know. I might just wait for that on uh, Netflix or something. It's usually where I catch those things. We'll see, but definitely Star Wars. If it wasn't so expensive, like twelve dollars just to. Why the fuck is it twelve bucks? Just like, go like on a weekday in, in the morning or something. Even, even then, it's like ten, eleven dollars, even for a matinee. You don't stream online, do you? Like any movies? Or uh, I I have access to illegal movies that I can stream, and I have done so. Uh, uh, I have another. Right, we got it, boys. He made it. Go, 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 go. No, oh, no. I, yeah, well, I have, I don't really watch it when it's like cam, because that's stupid. I just watch it when I... And those will be movies I'll pay for, because I, I don't know. I really want. It just depends. I don't do it a lot. But there might be something like, I don't want to pay money for this crap. It's like a B-horror film or something, but it might be a interesting. 
Like, I want to see the new It movie, but I don't want to pay it for it in the theaters, so I might just pay for it when it's on YouTube or something for three bucks. We all float down here. Should I go to HD on this street? There's so much noise right now. Um, is that kind of for my mic? No, not for, I'm just that I'm in a game to Left 4 Dead, so I've got tank music playing at the same time I got witch music playing. And my tank music is spooky scary skeletons, the witch music is a remix of the Halloween thing theme, so it's all going on at once while there's a siren going on. So I it's like oh Did God. you hear about like the fucked up scenes that are in the book of it? Oh yeah. Okay. I yeah. knew that a while Show ago, it. but I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure why they wouldn't put, I can see why they wouldn't put that in the theater. Or in the movie. Yeah. Gee, let's, let's put the scene where the kids sleep oh, with shit. the fuck. Wow, they're like 13. Like that. That'll go over well with the sensors. <laughs> it's, it's okay though. They're just, you know, it's kind of scary when there's a movie like it, and it's like, yeah, there's some stuff we couldn't even show. You know, it's like R rated already. I lost my time. Well, it's just so weird. It's even in the books. Yeah, I mean. Don't ask me. <laughs> I didn't write it, thank god. There's like a ch child orgy scene. Hey, go on. <laughs> From what I've heard, it's the, the baby still, so or the people can kill the kids, like, okay, let's calm your nerves down. I, I'm paraphrasing. Let's calm your nerves down, let's fuck. <laughs> well, they're all. They're all smart. They're all about the same age, and they just, they're, they're like, you know what can win if we all unite together because we're all scared. And the girl, who's a, like a little older, I guess, but not much. She's not the babysitter, I don't oh, think. Okay. But I'll she's just part of the group, and she's like, you know what, let's have sex. Cause it's, and according to Stephen King, it was supposed to be like, well, because they went into adulthood, and that's kind of the symbol of going to adulthood and their kids, and that will somehow defeat it. So I wrote a child orgy scene. <laughs> like, oh, the... all right. Yeah, I mean, they they could have just had you know... a big leap. You know, yeah, had it's... some cigarettes or drunk alcohol. Right. <laughs> well, I guess they didn't <laughs> have any. It's like, well, bottle of vod vodka. It's fine. It's like we don't have anything else. Let's just take our clothes and do it. Right, so that sounds just... in the just sewers. I... I think they're in the sewers too. So that sounds yeah. like a lovely yeah. person. Yeah, that's fucking hot. <laughs> Shit all over my. That's body. actually my it's... fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Kids sewer porn. I'm just right now. I need to change your pants. That's such an awful turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm reloading. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I could do it near as good as that. <laughs> Whoa! Let's fucking go! No! No! Fleshy, un underside. Click to continue. 
so shoot booty, shooty the booty. <laughs> shooty kabooty. That's my name. Hit her right in the tooties. Oh, I understand. I see that. Yeah. Have you heard of the film Baby Driver? Yep. Heard of it, heard it was awesome. I think it's okay. <laughs> it's an enjoyable film, but I don't like it. know what the hype's about. I guess because it did something a bit different, I guess? And yeah, I guess. I mean, when some, as I said, like some people do something different and unique, then that's yeah. Even if it's not a great movie, like maybe story-wise, I was just, entertained. I well, that's good. Not, like definitely was entertained. I just the generator's off. I don't know. Ah, shit, turd. The love story in it was a bit. I thought. <laughs> I see. That, for me, that wasn't appealed. There's another film I watched recently, I just can't remember what it was. It must have been good though. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't remember it, but I want to know what it was. So yeah. I watched two films that day. I watched Baby Driver and... Is it a, n Is it a new and film? Yeah, it was mm. on my list. Can you remember wow, anything that about was it? One of the easiest fucking bosses. Like an actor or... No. Actually, my mind's gone total blank. No. I wonder if I've spoken to anyone on WhatsApp about it. Uh. I guess this is the plan. Watch out! No. I don't no. feel like fucking playing. Meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> I don't wanna play with my mom. Where, where, see, where? My baby, see? <laughs> You're gonna wanna drive this. I don't wanna change this. It's already four o'clock. Jesus Christ. Where the black did the day go? Hey, them pantyhose. <laughs> what? Alright. Ow. Do you have you ever watched Black Mirror? Yes, I have seen all of it thus far. It is so good. The San Juan of Juan of Pero one. That yeah, was so... that was so good. And then I got that stonk stuck in my head. Heaven is a place, and I was like, God damn it! Like, <laughs> now I. But um, but yeah, Black Mirror was like, wow, this is all really good. The British, the like people in the UK with making their shows are really good. Like it's like. When they're good, they're great. Yeah. But it's, usually it's, they're just. I, it's weird because like, like my, my, my favorite shows like Sherlock, I got Black Mirror, all made in the. <gasps> That's a witch. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, that was it. I see it. What happened to Monday? I don't know. Tuesday came. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a joke. Uh, but I don't know what happened to Monday? Yeah, that was an okay film. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've heard of it. I just don't know anything about it. I have not heard of it. I guess because no one really talked about it. It's not been very great. I like. I really like the concept. It's in a world where you're only allowed to have one baby. Otherwise, like the other baby, if you have any more than one baby, the baby will get uh, put into cryo sleep. I see. So, if, um, this person had septuplet. Uh, seven children oh, wow. and he wanted to keep them a secret so oh, yeah. what they did is they named them a day of the week but then so only one person goes out the house at a time and they play as this one person so they pretend to be this one person and so when they come home they tell everybody what happened that day their interactions whatever and then like it skips forward to when oh no, I think that they describe that in flashbacks. So they're already adults. So and then like Monday doesn't come home, and then they try to like see what happened to Monday. 
Interesting. Yeah. Also, those are stupid fucking names for kids. <laughs> but the thing is, each kid, whoever's name it was, that's it's, that's their turn to go outside and play as that one kid. Uh, yeah, I can see that, okay. The concept sounds interesting, I might give it a yes. look. Yes, it's a really interesting concept. But it wasn't, like, executed that well? I think it was executed well, but it's just... I don't know. Maybe I was expecting a little more wow. There wasn't a wow factor, it was more of a... Uh, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not oh, that was good. Kind of yeah, like it's like, oh, that was good, but it's like, I'm not gonna... rush out and tell everyone about it. Right. The only reason I told you is because I couldn't remember what <laughs> film I saw. I just realised what film I saw. <laughs> Did you ever watch Maze Runner? Uh, no, can't say that I had. Okay, that one's good. That surprised me, because I thought I was just going to be some shitty film. So I had low expectations to Maze Runner. <laughs> well, that can be good sometimes. Then you're like, oh, yeah. that was good. Didn't expect it. <laughs> To Tuesday. What happened to Friday? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! You got me. Yeah. Look out! Watch out! He likes his sardines. <laughs> That's what I used to say because I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to say something with Novocaine, Ryan. Something sardine. I was. I think it was Novocaine. Novocaine. It eases the pain. Because Novocaine is like a. I don't know. It eases the pain. I guess when I was like Novocaine. Novocaine. It eases the pain. Oh no! I didn't mean to throw that. That's Every time, I always think of Green Day. All right. <laughs> Give me another cane. Ah, oh, okay. I, <laughs> I'm not the biggest Green Day fan. I mean, they're not bad, but I just don't really. I wouldn't know the song reference. Nova King. Oh. Wowza. Yikes. Yikes. I made a miss the Machowza. One shot, one kill. 
Magnifique. Oh là là. Catchphrase. Bow them up. Knock them down. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> I Link. play to win! I know she says that in Korean, isn't it? Yeah, I play to win. No, I've heard her play it say it in English. Oh! Oh, yeah, no, I think at the start of the round she says it, but I don't think it's actually a voice line you can pick. Uh, like, it says I play to win, but she, say, she says it in Korean. Yeah. I play to win! Hi! Nichiwa! Not to do that. <clears throat> Any emails yet? Nope. Oh. Oh, Mangoes, you need to let it go. <laughs> oh, did you like the the May animated short? Oh yeah, that, that was up? that was really cool. So good. I need to make so a movie, just like a full length movie. I don't think they ever will though, like, they all should. fans like just ask for movies for their franchises, but... Yeah, but they're actually really good at it. Like, if they, they took the time to take a two hour Overwatch movie, it'd be easily very good. Or make a series or something with like 20, 20 minute shorts or something. That'd be fun. Hi, Binkies. Oh, wow. Oh wow. I figured I'd play something. <laughs> it's um <sighs> Turn into a podcast, an hour long one. <laughs> it's okay. Because I'm recording it, so everyone will know our opinions, because it is very important. Need achievements. Do people play versus? I'm sure you can find versus ones. Um, I can try to find one. Just hold on. Let me let this thing load because I might have some servers you don't have. Because you have to subscribe to the group to get it on there. Uh, and you're so special. You get special. <laughs> what if you were special? Well, I made a lobby and someone joined, so right. that's something. And right. then they left. Good. Yeah, I mean, dedicated servers to versus probably would find you more people than just a random game. I don't think most people look for versus. Hold on, let me. Fox gonna... my lighter. Hold on. Right there. Spooky, scary, Rory's. Okay. You what? You what? I'm alive. Okay, um. I see. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, people are joining and leaving. Uh, let me join something and see how this is. And then. Found a versus server with eight people on it. So. I have no, I've never joined it, so I have no clue if it's gonna be like a thing where it's you're always the infected or what. <sighs> Holy shit! Holy crap! You're a crap! What? What? <laughs> Oh my god, my lag is so bad. 
Um, I mean, it's a versus server, but the lag is pretty bad. Okay. Well, maybe not. You can try to join Pinkies. I don't know if you want You're to. You're not in a joinable game. Really? That's weird. Let me invite you when I have a chance. See if it works. Because it definitely wasn't a full server. It was like 8 out of 20 or something. Because it's supposed to be an 11 versus 11 versus server. Oh my god, what are people doing? <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't invite you. That's weird. Huh. It's definitely not a full game, so I don't know. Guess I'll leave then. Let's see what we got. No, not really. <laughs> I see one that has like a good amount of people, but it's the ping is 196, so that would probably not be good for me. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> the one I was in was not that far down. Uh, I don't know if you it would be on yours or not. It's called Legion Z versus and it has 15 out of 22 which is why I was confused of why it wasn't joinable because there's like eight slots open I don't even know where you're seeing these um do you have a steam group server in the middle of your main menu no. like at the bottom it doesn't say steam group servers no well god damn it <laughs> Uh, that's weird. Cause mine is there by default. Then I've got like all. I'll fucking do a quick match. And uh. I'm in a lobby. Yeah, as I'm saying, no one really plays. For... Oh, you are in a lobby with. Okay. Yeah, I'm... there's people. <laughs> I'm joining. It's starting, I guess. Wait. You're on the other team. Oh, now people are leaving. <laughs> Bye. God damn. <laughs> well, Let's that see was. If I could join back. Join back, like. Oh, and it threw me back on the opposite fucking team. Yeah, like like it started, and it's just you three on that team. And now I fucking joined in, and it's just me. It's you. It's a me. I'm still fucking... loading. <laughs> so yeah, I don't... me too. Oh. Fucking so return to lobby. No. Oh my god. You're gonna want to see this, drops pants. <sighs> I'm still loading. Me fucking too. Okay, there we are. No, I don't. Why is it all blue? Oh, because I'm infected. Wow, I haven't played this game infected in so long, I forgot. Oh, what the fuck was my settings anyway? The can take us um. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get a. The only other thing is try to find that thing where you're always the infected. That's the only other one I can think of. I don't think people are gonna join a random lobby that well. Good. Yep. No, I can't like choose anything. What the fuck? Right, Fantastic. Oops. 
Oh my god, fucking 1v1 me, bro. I just need to get some fucking achievements here. I'm starting the game, fucking pick your dude. There it is, 2v2. <laughs> oh, you're not on my, my team, good. <laughs> well, no, I'm not on your team. You said 1v1 me, so I was like, alright. But then people join! Yeah, but I couldn't have switched in time to start uh... it. Either. It's okay, it doesn't matter. I can. You can tell yeah, me what right. to do, and then I can try to give you that achievement. You, so. I need every achievement. <laughs> like, I've never played Versus on PC. Um, alright. Pretty fucking sure. We, we played on that one server where you were just infected and all the humans were AI. I even recorded that, so I know you're there. <laughs> And it just wasn't going forward because the bots kept dying and they couldn't close the safe room door, etc. So we just kept playing the same one, but that's like the cheapest way to get achievements as the infected. Right. Because you are always the infected. So. Oh boy. So, I don't know what the achievement- Oh wow. Achievement unlocked. Yep. Burped into the mic. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> So who do we have? There's three versus three. Actually, this is not bad. Tree versus tree, man. Yeah, man. Actually, it's a four. Uh, where do you want me? They're talking. I can't hear them. I can understand them, though. Mercy, can you go survivor, please? They want me to change to survivor? Alright. Dead news. It's Cut. fucking full. Wow. Alright. And you got kicked? <laughs> yep. Well, have fun then. I'm not joining that server again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck that. I'm not gonna join and go. Well, you gotta switch. I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. Like, I don't have no clue. <laughs> Why did they want me to be a? S I guess they wanted their friend to get on. I bet that's it. I bet some... It's like, well, come on. <sighs> okay, so we're just running apparently. All right. Well, have fun That's with that. what you want to fucking do, then let's fucking do it, motherfucker. Is their team full? Can you tell? Never mind, the game's uh, never mind, the game's full, so it doesn't matter. It should be full because of spot on. <laughs> and it says your game's full now, so eight out of eight. Oh well, that was exciting. Glad I left the other game to do that. I posted it's way again. Way back, there's a spot on this team. It's still. Oh, just kidding. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so <laughs> twenty. Let me see this gift since I'm gonna watch. Meow. Meow. Oh my god. Meow. It's like the dwarf. Holy shit! How many? Oh what? <gasps> what? Is this guy taking care of all of them? What is? What is happening? What am I looking at? I don't know, but why does that? Was that thing at the end? That looked weird. Like a weird cut. <laughs> Suddenly, it's a different room. Or am I not seeing it clearly? The rain is gone. I can see all- okay, I see what it is now. Holy crap! There's- Okay, I see what happened. Wow, that's pretty crazy. It's cray cray. <gasps> it's cat cray. I don't know. Amateurs. They'd be doing their homework or something. Past their bedtime. A bunch of fucking children playing right now. Uh... Okay, I did the thing. <coughs> Don't you have this game? Rory? I do, but I'm getting off in like 10 minutes. Oh, that's sad. Uh-huh. <coughs> if I don't die first. Oh, okay. 
This dude's trying to fucking start. What funny shit have you been tagged in today, Mary? Um, I can send you a video. Every day it's a new video or a okay. new thing. Just you get posted in some shit, and I'm just like, this is funny. Okay. I forgot what the and there was something like a week ago. I was proper laughing at. can just like go through my entire Facebook page. Yeah, like, what's this? Shit. Oh, yeah, the... Where are you? <laughs> and I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good. I cannot eat, I cannot sleep tonight. Okay. Okay. Right. You too. Yeah. See ya. See you. Bye bye.